Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. In today's video, we're building another kit from Foss Scale Models. Um, it's an older kit. It's called Decker's Tar Soap. Now, if you visit the Foss Scale Models website, um, it's still available. On the website, it is red with white trim. Now, we're going to change ours. We're going to call it Decker's Seafood Emporium. And we're going to go with more of a natural look, um, possibly a tan with brown trim. Um, we'll deal with that when we get to that point. Um, I'm very excited. I've had this kit for a long time and uh, I've always wanted to build it and eventually we'll be putting it on a pier. If you like the videos that I'm producing, please consider supporting the channel. Um, you can head over to patreon.com slash Jason Jensen Trains and become a supporter of the channel. Uh, any dollar amount, uh, I truly appreciate it. And at the $12 mark, uh, that's $12 a month, you get photos every week of uh, projects that I'm working on. Sort of a behind the scenes look. All right, well, like always, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Okay, again, it is a kit from Foss Scale Models, and it is Decker's Tar Soap. As you can see, it is a long structure. We're gonna be putting ours on a pier, and I think I'm gonna call it Decker's Seafood Emporium. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is lift some of the clapboard. So I'm just taking my straight blade, putting it under one of the boards, and lifting it. So I'll do that on all the clapboard, then I'll flip it over and add bracing to the back according to the instructions. Then I'll stain the walls. And we're going to go with a natural color on this, so we'll probably just end up using murky brown. Okay, everything is braced, and I just went according to the instructions. All the red is where you place um, the bracing. Okay, next we're staining the walls with murky brown. Now I'm adding a thin coat of shadow gray. I did not shake the bottle, and when I dip my brush in, I'm just letting it hit the very top. Now we'll quick stain the rest of the wood that comes in the kit. So we're going to go back to our murky brown. We'll grab a paper towel. Now, while we're letting all of this dry, we want to paint all of our doors and windows. And we're gonna start with iced coffee. And we're just putting a thin coat to start with. 
you don't want to try to cover it all at once it'll get too thick so I've decided to give it some color and I'm using medium German yellow I think it looks really nice with the brown trim. So all of our doors, windows, and trim will be brown. So I'm kind of doing a dry brush technique. Well, as you can see, the walls are all together. Now, I've made some slight changes to this. Let me quick show you. So I left off this uh, stairwell that goes on the outside. So by leaving that off, you can see here where it extends. Um, and then this would have been completely straight, flat. So what I did was I set this wall back. So you can see here where there's a, you can see the side of it slightly. So it's just not completely level with this wall. Just to give it some interest. Um, that means I'll have to cut the um, roof card um, slightly smaller. I'll have to trim a little bit off of it. So I'm putting a door right here instead of that stairwell that was supposed to be right here. Next, we need to add all of the trim around the top. And it is two parts. You have a thick piece And then a smaller one that goes on top of it at the top. So it ends up looking like that. And that goes all the way around the top. The trim is all done. It actually went quicker than what I thought it would. Next, we have to get our roof cards put on. Well, the tar paper is all finished. Now, I'm going to uh, take pigments and weather that, and we'll weather the walls, but we'll wait until everything's done. Um, you can see I glued on all of the uh, white metal castings. Uh, we have some doors to put in, and then... I jumped on the computer quick and made some signs. So now what I'll do is I'll sand the back of these so they're really thin and then we'll cut them out and get those glued on. Okay, our signs are glued on. I just used white Elmer's glue. Now, we're going to take our uh, medium German yellow and a sponge. Okay, I'm anxious to get some weathering on this. So I'm going to do a little bit of weathering on the walls using City Dark Dust. Now we'll use something a little darker, Farm Dark Earth. I always use very little of this because it's so dark.
What's great is these bottles will last me for years probably. So all the uh, castings are painted a dark brown. Now we're just going to take um I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. Um it may be old rust. But it's a reddish reddish brown adding lots of water. Now that's dry. Now we'll take new rust. Now we'll take some medium rust. And let's see, I think we have some light rust. And we'll switch to a smaller brush. Maybe we'll just do the light rust. Okay, this model is finished. Um, and I put a very special casting here on the end. Some friends of mine went to uh, a large train show and brought this back for me. So that's very special to me. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate them. Uh, they they came over and brought me some gifts, and that was one of them. And uh, I'll always think of them when I look at this model. Well, I am thrilled with how this structure turned out. Now, next week, we'll be placing it on the layout. So in the next video, we're gonna be building a pier and also building a wood crane to go with it. Um, that's gonna be very exciting to get that placed on the layout. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. And a special thank you to all of my Patreons. I truly appreciate your support. All right, well, until next week, stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone.